What's up everyone, it's ZZ, he's just gaming. This is about the troop, new troop marches. So, let's, with our example, everyone's attacking the same base. That used to just wipe us out. We'll back up for a minute. Now we have something new we can do. We gotta take advantage of all these different march uh, capabilities we have. First thing we have is a new march hut. It only holds the, the troops that you're marching with. You can also redirect your attacks. And you can improve your defensive skills by redirecting your troops as well. It gives you a lot more options in wartime. I'm going to show you a couple right now. So, uh, there's no need to crash into those stronger troops. Not anymore. As the troops are marching, you'll see a bunch of symbols around them. You can actually press one of them and you can make that little hut pop up. You can stop your march in the middle of, of uh, the map and turn into the hut. And you, you'll stay in that hut until you decide to click on something else and attack it or head home. So what you'll do is uh, you'll, you'll watch the march in the map. And then you'll click on one of these buttons here. The first button is the little uh, emote or emoji, whatever it is. Those little faces that, that we make at everyone. Uh... It doesn't instigate problems. Then you can get all your march info, all the different uh, troop info when you hit that little I button, the information button. Uh, the next button in the middle, notice how ne neatly these things are cut out. The next button in the middle is for your hut. I don't even know what they're technically calling it. I'm calling it the, the march hut. It's another outpost. This is the go home button. Now this is one of the buttons that I don't want you to ever press. Because then you're restricted. As soon as you hit the go home button, you can't do anything but go home. And this is, of course, the speed up button. You use speed ups and you can go faster. And I'll, I'll explain wh why I say that about the go home button in a second. This, this, I've heard some ups and downs about this new system. But I, I really think it's going to be really beneficial, for, especially for the newer players. Now, when we, hit, when we press the, the hut button, the hut icon, there you are. Now you're a hut. And it's a lot smaller than your regular outpost, so you can hide it pretty well. You can also get your troop info there too. Now you'll stay there until you decide to click on another item, uh, another uh, outpost, or in this case, the, the, one of the temples, the corrupted temples. I'm going to show you a little redirection as well. So we'll click on one of them. Now notice how I, I clicked on, when it asked me which march I wanted to use, I clicked on the one that was sitting there. So you can actually click on the one that you're, that you're actually moving on, and you see I did it again, I just relocated, and I went to the, from the one on the left to the one on the right. And now we're gonna switch back to the one on the left again. We just click on it, hit attack, and then we will click on, we'll find the, the march up top, and we click on it, and the last second we switched over again. This could be really helpful if you are in a war, and you, and you don't wanna alert someone that you're attacking, and you can actually uh, switch to them at the last second. And I'll, I'll explain that a little more too. The, the march directions are, are going to be really important here. Now, now, okay, I just beat the temple and I am on the way home. And there's really not a, a lot I can do from this point. It's just like it used to be. Uh, on the way home, once, you're, once you've accomplished your goal with the march, you, ha you just go straight back to your original outpost. So there's not really a lot you can do. So that means if you are in a war scenario and you're being hunted, um, anyone who's played for a while has, has been attacked on the back end of a march where they, they just get back to their outpost and as soon as they hit the outpost they get attacked at the same time and often they, they can time it and you'll lose your march after all that work you just did. So we'll, let's look at the new march system on defense. Okay, So let's just say for example uh, you're being attacked and it's a really quick attack and to save all your troops you just sent them all out towards the edge of the map we've seen people do this you've probably done this yourself so now you have four or five marches out just heading to items on the edge of the map now what happens what used to happen is they would find out where you're marching and they'll wait for you there and you would have to turn around last second and then uh then hit speed ups and then try to get back to your outpost before they they catch up to you uh not not anymore but i would suggest is when you're heading to the outsides of the map and I would say go to the outsides of the map. That gives you more time. I would I would go on to the corrupt temples because if you do attack the corrupt temples, they can't interfere with that. So you'll just hit the corrupt temple and then you'll head back to your outpost. But what you can do in the meantime, as your marches are going across the entire board, look how far they have to go sometimes, you can make adjustments and you can actually redirect them as they're marching across the board. 
and it's really important that you uh, if you want to use this feature it's really important that you learn how to do this one part you want to redirect your marches directly over your outposts or over your enemy clans area or outpost so in this example right here I, I just kind of set up a mock so you're, you're on the run and this guy's just gonna book it over here to the right and you know when you when you have when you're in a hurry you'll just send all your troops off to the edge of the map the edge of the map is far away and a safe place for that moment so it's from this area that we're going to try to kind of focus on and redirect our troops from the edge of the map is usually about a half an hour march so you'll have about a half an hour to regain your bearings you'll want to do uh, another march you'll want to redirect one time and then during the second redirect then you can really line up well and you can cross over one of your bases or cross over the enemy bases and that way you can maybe stop next to the enemy in your new outpost and, and, and get an attack in or at least you'll be able to cross over your base and be able to head right back into your base when you're like a, a few feet away so it's really hard for them to time the attack on you also we we can also use the tactic of if they're following you and they're trying to see where you're going and they're, they're going to try to attack you wherever you go you can redirect and go all the way across to the other corner of the map it's like an hour march and do that four or five times if you have to until they are sick of following you and you're safe um, so there's three big added tools. You have the secret base, the secret hideout base. You have the new march queue, and you have the new um, the new marching action buttons. All three of them are pretty big, and I really think newer players will have an advantage with this new march system because a lot of the older players aren't going to be able to adapt to the new system as quickly as the newer players will because they're used to the old system. So there's nothing for the new players to compare to. So you actually have an advantage over the older players in that area. Well, that's it. I appreciate everyone for watching. If you haven't subscribed to Easy Street Gaming or Brutal Age's new YouTube channel, subscribe to the channels, become a fan, and let us know how you like the new March system in the comment section. Smash that like button too. Appreciate it, everyone. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care.